Pathetic atheist. He can look up the definition of pathetic. Yeah, thanks. Uh, but most of us are aware of the definitions of pretty common English words without having to run and get the dictionary. But uh, yeah, thanks anyway for the pro tip. Yoke up, you fucking asshole. Uh, you can go look up fucking asshole in the dictionary if you need to, by the way. You know, but sadly, that's that's really what what it is when you when you when you're watching the the atheists on youtube they are pathetic what's the big pregnant pauses in your videos like I, i'm i'm a big advocate of like spontaneous video making i don't think everybody should like write down the things they want to talk about in a video but when i got to wait 15 seconds in between each sentence so you can collect all the thoughts floating around up here in your big empty gourd. I don't even know why you nothing but banjo music to fill the game. Why do I even fucking watch it? I don't even know. Anybody else's video I lost interest three seconds ago. I switched it off. But for some reason, you, I, I, I feel compelled. I think it's because you're so unconscionably stupid, so ignorant that I know that if I just wait, that next thing that comes out of your mouth is going to be something I've got to answer. So I'm willing to sit there and listen. Do, 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 do. What should I rehash today? Maybe Pascal's wager? I haven't done a Pascal wager video in you know, 30 or 40 minutes. What the? F just get to the fucking point. Spit it out. You can tell, you can tell how the struggle that's going on inside of them. And you definitely don't see peace. I mean, there's one element that the, the atheists here on YouTube are not displaying, and that is peace and calm in their life. <clears throat> well, I might be about to shock quite a few people, and I'm not going to speak for anybody but myself. I'm not speaking for other YouTube atheists. They can... Chime in if they want to. I'm not speaking for anybody but me. But you're right about me, Yoka. You got me pegged. You hit the nail on the head. And I'm not being facetious. There is a struggle going on inside of me every day. And I have very little peace because of it. So uh, kudos to you. You nailed me. Um, and I'd like to talk a little bit uh, about what that struggle is and why I have very little peace. Uh, I'm a person who's always been very intensely concerned with what's going on in the world. I'm very interested and what's going on in the world. And uh, I feel a connection with people, even people I don't know. I, I've always felt that, that connection. I feel, <laughs> I feel a lot of pain and a lot of anguish and a lot of heartache vicariously. And it's just, it's something, I've, I've always been that way. And uh, I look around at this world, yoke up, and I see a lot of ugliness, and I see a lot of injustice. And the struggle, the struggle comes from this. I look at this stuff, and I read about this stuff, and I hear about this stuff every day. And every day I think to myself, Paul, you should be doing something about this. But I don't know what that something is. I don't know what that something is. And the struggle is between that guy, that guy that says, Paul, you need, you need to do something. And then there's this pessimistic voice. It's very loud and who knows, maybe very right voice that goes, Paul, it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you do. This is bigger than you. It's so much bigger than you. And so far out of control now, you could beat your head against the wall or sit there and rot in your fucking computer chair. And it's not going to make one iota of difference because you don't matter. You as a single person do not matter. So all you can do is kick back and watch. That's a struggle that goes on inside of me every day. Yoke up. And I have very little peace because of it. Every day I think about these things. So you were right, but if I may, I'd like to talk a little bit about peace specifically the kind of peace that your religion peddles to people. The kind of peace that you have to wear like a mask because you're too afraid to take a look and see the shit that's going on in the world. You're too afraid to own up to it. You're too afraid to look at it and deal with it and process it. So you got to put on that big old plastic smile and say, I got so much peace. And these, uh, these people that... that 
that have to think about things that are going on in the world, that look at the shit that's going on around them and they worry about it. They are so pathetic. <laughs> if only they could learn to put that big old plastic smile on them, put on some of that old plastic piece, you know. And the, the, the reason why you're able to do that is because you've got yourself believing that none of this shit matters. Am I right, Yoka? Correct me if I'm wrong, but none of this matters, right? This whole life that we live is just a big, cruel waiting room, isn't it? It's just a big, cruel, like, customer service queue where we're all waiting in line, waiting, waiting, for that, waiting for our time to come so we can poof ourselves away into paradise. And I'm sorry, that's just not the way I work. I realize that every moment that I spend unhappy, every moment that I spend worrying about shit like this, every moment that I spend with the struggle that's going on inside of me is a moment I'm never getting back. I only get one time around, all right? I know that. I only get one time around, and, 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 and I try to make the best of it. I, don't, I know there's nothing waiting at the end of the rainbow, okay? I try to make the best of what I got. That's what I deal with. That's the struggle that I, that I deal with every day. When I look around and I try to be happy and I try and enjoy, you know, I'm, I'm a very lucky guy. I've, I've, I've got a good life. I've got a great fiance. I've got a loud but lovable dog, right? Um, I've got a lot of good things in my life. But I look around and I see the ugliness that's go, that goes on in the world. And I have a hard time sometimes enjoying that shit. So how are you a poster boy for that type of piece, Yoka? Well... I hate to open up an old wound, I hate to pour salt in an old wound, but bear with me here because I think it's pertinent that I do so. Um, you were the guy, right, that made the video just a while back that you made a bunch of ridiculous fucking statements about how 14,000 people supposedly died under President Clinton in the military and only 6,000 have died under Bush. And I'm sorry, not only is that the hallmark of somebody that's so fucking stupid they don't know how to go look into something before they open their pie hole about it. But it's also the hallmark of somebody that's so fucking snowed that they're not aware of what's going on in the world around them. Anybody, anybody that was even minutely aware of what's going on in the world, anybody that picked up a newspaper and read it in the 90s, any, anybody that watched TV during that decade would look at those numbers and go, nope, but not you. Not you, because you've got the fucking blinders on. You got that nice... Got that nice plastic piece. I don't want to hear about that. I won't hear about that. I won't hear about that because I got peace. <laughs> You're that's that's you, and I you know part of me doesn't want to do this, but you've talked about it openly. Uh, let's talk about your wife. Your wife, very obviously a lesbian, who's so ashamed of herself, who's so incapable of dealing with that part of herself and being honest with herself about that. She's got to put on that plastic piece, too, doesn't she? You know what? I'm not a lesbian no more. <laughs> I used to be just exclusively attracted to women sexually, but Jesus walked into my life, and he washed me clean of that. Now I like penis. That's the type of piece that you're selling. And you know what? I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. You give me a choice between me, all right? And the struggle that I go through every day, and the lack of peace that I that I have in my life, and I don't have a total lack of peace, but you know it's very little. It's few and far between. You give me a choice between that, and 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 being somebody that's too scared to pull their head out of the fucking sand and look around and process the shit that's going on around them. I pick me. I choose me. Yoke up. I choose me any day of the fucking week. Okay, so I want you to take a look at those two men. Take a look at you and me. Take a look at somebody who at least, at least has the balls and the wherewithal to look around and, 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 and admit the things that are going on in the world. To look around and let those things affect him. And then look at you, a person who's too scared to do that. A person who has to hide behind his belief system in order to get through the day with a big old cheeser on his face. You tell me who's pathetic. Who's pathetic, Yoka, out of those two men? Be honest with yourself. 